afternoon guys, what's going on? I hope everyone's having a great day out there thus far. So today, and of course my phone rings the second that we open up this video, every time. Okay, we don't know who that is, so we don't answer the phone. We don't answer the phone for, for numbers that aren't in our phone book. So they can leave a voicemail if it's important. So anyway, we are getting the first gen back today. Finally, finally getting the first gen back. It is worth the wait, I can tell you that. We'll go pick it up, I think John's gonna come give us a hand, pick that up, and then we are going to try and give him his spare engine like we mentioned yesterday to make some room in the shop because we have very limited space, as you can tell. The weather report for today has just been impeccable, as you can see, sunshine all day long. It is just wonderful, but it's still a good day. It's still a good day. So that's the plan. What I want to try and do too is put all of the rocker assemblies just loosely back on there, put the valve covers back on there. And we also, also, we got a pallet because John wants to put it on a pallet. And that's, uh, that's where we're starting off today, guys. That's where we're starting off. So as you can see, we have the spare spare engine for the Sendit garage loaded up in the old gas Dodge. And we are now on our way over to help John unload it, get it in the garage, get it all tucked away. So uh, it's out of our hair, out of the Greg A garage. And we have more room to uh, take the engine out of the 05 and then put it pretty much in the same spot. So we'll end up getting all the P-pump stuff uh, cleaned up, ready to go. Who knows what we're doing with it yet, but uh, that'll be all put away and stuff like that. So That is not gonna be fun on the way home, I can tell you that. Oof. Look at gas dodge. All raked out. She's got the lean going on. One twelve valve, two twelve valve, and just like that, from the gas Dodge to the Sendit garage, she's in her new home. All right, love you, bye. Hey, what color is that? Love you, bye. Is what that, is that? Orange. That is not a bright red. That's a red orange. Oh, here comes here comes Mark. Here comes Mark. This is Mark. This is Mark. Come on, Mark. Get it, Get Mark. Mark. Wow. Eating. Listen to him. Getting it. Steady getting it, Mark. He only let off because of traffic light up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. The next day.
Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? Hope everyone is having a great Friday thus far. As you saw previously, uh, we moved the engine out of, or John's spare engine out of my garage into his garage. Frees up some more garage space for me to pull the engine out of the 05 and get that on the ground. It's pretty much gonna go right where John's engine was. So got that out of the shop, got that out of the way. That's kind of what we did yesterday, some behind the scenes stuff uh, that you guys will see in upcoming, it's, it's, it's a surprise. I gotta keep a surprise for you guys. So we're working on stuff behind the scenes, but biggest question is where has the first gen been? So we actually dropped the truck off at my buddy Dan's who owns DGS Speed and Fabrication uh, and he took care of some of the welding, some of the uh, reshaping of the pipes that we had talked about previously. We'll go over all that but uh, at the time we dropped the truck off to give John a hand, help him wrap up his engine. Uh, Dan does like insane, insane twin turbo cars and stuff like this. So it was just better suited for him and I could spend time with John to make sure his truck is ready to go uh, for basically almost a week from now, uh, English Town Diesel Nationals in English Town, New Jersey. Make sure you guys have that on your calendar. It is coming up, not this weekend, the weekend after that. So uh, I really wanted to wrap up some other stuff help John so we let Dan you know we fabricated the uh, the mounting uh, but he did all the reshaping the pipes and he also uh, redid the uh, hood stack piping so I will show you guys all that we do have a lot of loose ends to tie up we still got a lot of work to do before English Town so that also kind of helped me kind of kill two birds with one stone so as you can see we have the new hood stack piping all welded up all perfectly fitted we do need to do some readjusting on the uh, the cone shape underneath here uh, I do still want to trim the hood stack the uh, angle cut I mentioned that we're gonna do that uh, we're gonna heat wrap that but that is all pretty much done now look at our valve covers over here still slacking uh, and John is just making us look terrible now but got the uh, cold side the hot side wrapped up uh, what I'll do is I'll set the intercooler up in our brackets here focus there we go look at all that that is just sexy sexy so mounts are now fully welded we're gonna have to repaint those so those don't rust instantaneously but the intercooler is reshaped rewelded to go fits like a glove uh, and also get some new heavier duty uh, mounting for that stuff we have her back boys don't worry don't you worry so Let's get you set up, let's get the intercooler in, I will show you guys the fitment of everything. Alrighty guys, here she is. I threw in the intercooler pipes just temporarily, just so you can kind of see how everything fits. Like I mentioned, we re-angled this one to kind of come towards here and up. We're able to use this boot right here, and that worked out perfectly. Over on the other side here, we got this one that kind of snakes right around, just misses and goes down. That side was definitely a little bit of a bend to get, but we did get it. Everything is perfect. I'm super pumped. Those are obviously just temporary boots on there. We'll get the nice boots set up. We need to get the Greg A paint booth set up, get everything up to Johnny Send at standards now that we have been outdone. So once we do that, we'll install the nice clamps, the nice boots, and get everything uh, heat wrapped up over here. And we still don't even have cooling it. We need to put cooling it. We just, we literally just dropped it off over there enough running for it to get worked on. And now we need to pretty much get our transformation on like Johnny send it. So um, yeah, we're, we're moving along guys. I know this is really just an update video. Uh, it's already getting kind of late, but she's back. She is back. Now, with that being said, if you guys do not know about Wrenchworks, go check out Wrenchworks.com. It's the brand we started now. I don't bring that up for no reason. If you guys, in the comments below, and I'll read every single one of them, can guess what the next modification that I purchased for the first gen behind me is, I will send you guys a free sticker, whatever, if there's, if there's 10 people who guess it, or if there's 50 people who guess it, I will send a free sticker to anyone who can guess what the next purchased modification which which I will talk about in the next video maybe even install in the next video so guess down below and you'll get a free sticker it's been brought up maybe once or twice so you better think hard but anyone who guesses I will give a free sticker so that is 
Man, I'm so pumped to have this thing back now. I mean, come on, come on. Who doesn't love this? The other thing I forgot to mention too, how I was mentioning how the hood latch can basically come down right through the top of this intercooler right here. We did actually shorten up the factory one so it fits a lot better. So we can still keep that for the time being until we go full race mode and maybe get hood pins, maybe not, but uh, hood latch being shortened or safety latch being shortened definitely helped out quite a bit. So I think what we're gonna do now is grab the factory chrome grill inside the shop here. We need to take the inserts out and possibly start trimming this grill up because I do think I do want to run this one instead of the black one for the time being. Alrighty guys, as you can see, daylight has escaped us. I'll try and show you the best I can. Uh, what I did is I broke all these tabs that held on the uh, grill uh, inserts up above here and actually started trimming. I uh, got these kind of all trimmed out, smooth down here, smooth over there on the other side and smooth everywhere else. So uh, right here, uh, it's rubbing a little bit, which I can take care of no problem. As you can see, uh, we still do have some trimming to get that to fit, um, but the grill will definitely fit. So here's where we now have another issue. Now I know when guys second gen swap, intercooler swap, these trucks, the, the factory intercooler is not as thick, it's not as big, it's not as wide as this aftermarket one, which is just a beast. Oop. So because this one is actually oversized, uh, it's sticking out even further in this, this area right here because the factory one kind of squares off, it's thinner, you can kind of push it back. I'm already back against this support as far as I possibly can go. So it really can't go any further without taking the rest of the, basically the entire grill support out. And I don't want to take all that support out. Now, here's my issue this awesome little in-between piece between here and the bumper set this up here and we are quite a ways away quite a ways away so that is the current challenge but as you can see we are out of daylight for today out of time once again so we will be picking this up at a later date we'll get we'll get this stuff to fit somehow i mean the grill will definitely fit and we haven't really done anything with the front bumper thing which i was trying to hope and get something done before english town which i don't know if that's going to happen so the front end body work we might need a little need a little time and a little bit of help on there but she's coming along boys she's coming along but that is going to wrap up this video, this upload. Again, huge shout out to Dan at DGS. I'll put his Instagram information here and before uh, so you guys can go check him out. If you guys need, I don't know how many of you guys have like really nasty uh, race cars, but if you ever need a car dropped off and ready to go seven or eight seconds, he's your man to see. He can, he can fab it all, let me tell you. So uh, go check him out. But that's going to do it for this video. You can fully expect a ton more first-gen action uh, coming at you the next quite a while, let's put it that way. Um, 05 progress, we're gonna get started on that again. Uh, more send it updates uh, as he continues to progressively send the scrap truck. And that's gonna wrap it up. Put your guess below at the next purchase modification. And that is gonna do it, guys. Thank you, I'll see you guys. Hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys tomorrow, see you.